welcome back to another video from Red Dirt Magnet Fishing. I am in Oklahoma City. I'm in kind of an area that's got some heavy traffic right now. Uh, there's a walking path bridge over this creek that feeds into the river. Uh, and so I should be safe to magnet fish here. I don't know what the audio quality is going to be like. Um, so I may end up having to do some voiceover work with this video to cut out all the road road noise. Um, but it looks like it'll be pretty safe here. Uh, parked in the parking lot of a business that is not open on the weekends. They're only open Monday through Friday. So hopefully everything will be okay where we are right now. And let's go check out this, uh, this I think it's a creek actually. Uh, technically, I think it's a, a Twin Creek, I think is the name of it. And it feeds right into a river, and so let's go check it out. So this looks gross and interesting all at the same time. We do see just a little bit down the creek here, there is at least one duck in the water. Seems to be alive, so maybe the water is not too terribly bad, but it is pretty, pretty nasty right here. I wouldn't want to be swimming in it. I think we'll start off with our 2800 pound double sided magnet. Alright, let's do our first throw. I did clip it on, so that's good. Looks like it's not that deep right here. That felt like, oh, there's something in there. Didn't feel like I pulled it off, though. Sounds like, felt like it got pulled loose. Give it a good proper throw. Oh, I feel definitely feel something right there. Feels a little heavier now. We might be on, might have something. Doesn't look like it. That is right there, something. There's definitely something there. Oh, right on it this time. Just pulled loose. Times like this, I wish I had a camera. <laughs> an, an underwater camera. That looks like just a rock.
something right there. Definitely something right there. It's just not staying attached. Hopefully we're not just slipping under a rock. Some kind of nasty leaf underneath a little bit of a rock. <laughs> See that time I threw it around and let it curve under the bridge a little bit more. Definitely dirtier. Don't see anything stuck to the magnet though. A big truck drove by and this whole bridge that I'm standing on just wobbled pretty fiercely. Cut something. Oh, we're on something. Is that just a branch or is that some kind of rebar? That is definitely some rebar. Get pulled off of there. Right, so we got this rebar. We got a little piece of wire. This is kind of suction cup hooked up to this. I don't know what this is. Is that a Well, viewers, if you have any idea what that is, go ahead and leave us a comment, because I'm really curious. It's, uh, pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah.
There's something there. It's at that same spot we keep. There's something down there too. Might be more rebar. It's not coming up with this magnet though. I'm really hesitant to throw the Kraken out because I keep hearing this one hit the rocks. I do not want to damage the Kraken. Especially as shallow as this seems to be. Not to mention how much more effort it takes to throw the Kraken out and pull it back up. <laughs> Closer to the shore on this side. Definitely feels like there's something right there. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and get the Kraken ready. All right, here we go. <laughs> well, we got somebody's uh, fruit salad. There's some kind of little storm drain here. Looks like something feeds into this creek from further north. Looks like there's a shopping cart way up there. That's gonna be a little too far for us to throw out from here. Let's see what we can find here. I'm back to the 20 100 pound because I haven't checked this side out yet. I think I see a bed frame rail down there. Some other stuff. Thank you. 
Oh, there's something right there. Nope. May have just been a rock. under the bridge. Looks like we picked up something. Nothing real solid, some rocks. picked up something or we damaged our magnet on. This is the magnet we previously cracked, so I would not be surprised. Oh, yep. There we go. Shattered that baby. Still seems magnetic, though. I'm going to go ahead and throw it out again. I got too close to the shore. I was trying to get close to that uh, what looks to be a bed frame rail over there and got too close to the shore. That's when I whacked the magnet and this might be farewell to the 20 hundred pound double sided. I'm going to throw it out one more time. And we will put this magnet to bed. I'm trying to figure out if that's a shirt or a towel or something down there. Probably not magnetic, whatever it is. Sorry about leaving the rope right in front of the camera lens like that. It's time to put this magnet in the bucket.
so to speak. Oh. That spark plug. Yeah, well, we got our fruit salad, somebody's lunch. I got uh, this mysterious item that uh, if you can identify it, please let us know what you think it might be. I'm really curious. I wouldn't even know what to begin searching for to try to figure out what it is. I mean, I could take it apart, <laughs> but I don't know that I would even be able to figure it out then. And then this uh, big piece of rebar with some uh, cloth. It's like some gravel, Ugh. moss and stuff. Pretty gross, pretty gross. Well, viewers, it's another video for Red Dirt Magnet Fishing. Uh, fortunately, it looks like it's time to retire our 2400 pound double sided magnet. Uh, it's just gone too far. I know a few weeks ago we had cracked it on the concrete and had a pretty good sized crack running through it. And today the rocks were just too much for it and it finally shattered. Uh, it did give us some good finds though and today we pulled up that big piece of rebar and that one unknown item with the suction cup on the end of that wiring the cable um, so if you happen to know what that is you leave us a comment uh, down below because I would really love to know and I have not an idea what it is um, didn't really pull up much else today there was a shopping cart that was just out of our reach it was too far down the creek and the sides were so steep I didn't want to risk going after it and then there was that bed frame that was on the side that was what finally shattered our magnet when I tried to get to it because it was just too close to the shore and those rocks were right there. And just one good smack and a magnet. You know, magnets are pretty brittle uh, when you get down to it. That's why we have like the housing around them and that clamp has that, that pretty sturdy housing. And even that looks like it's taken a few dings. So I may have to take a closer look at it later when I get home and clean it up a little bit. But, you know, it's a good time to get out. You know, temperature's nice. Uh, it may be snowing in the middle of this week, so I don't know when I'm going to get another chance to get out. It's always good for me because, you know, getting out in the sun and being active, doing stuff like this, helps with my daily anxiety. So if you suffer from anxiety and you have an activity that you enjoy doing, go out and do it. You know, you don't have to record it and put it on YouTube. Just, just go out and have fun with your life. If you're struggling with depression or anxiety, don't be afraid to ask for help. There are lots of groups out there that would just love to help you. They're standing by. Don't forget to like and subscribe.